Welcome to Ikanek. In this video, we're going to take a look at a 2017 Mercedes B250 electric. So, what we're doing here, we're running a full scan on the vehicle where the scanner goes through all the different control units and then it looks at for four fault codes. You can see uh, several of them have codes, um, and we're going to take a deeper look at them. Um, you can click on the blue arrow here to the side. And that's going to show you what that code or what codes are found for that control module or once the scanning is performed or is completed you can click on the name of the module on the left and then enter that control module right here you can see the complete um, results you can see the control modules that have fault codes but at the bottom of it at the bottom of the report here we can see the different fault codes now you can see codes there and their control module you can see if, if the status says stored, it means that was an issue that was detected in the past. Um, it could have happened a week ago, it could have happened uh, six months or two years ago, but it's not currently detected by that control unit. But if you have a code that says current, uh, that is something that is a current issue and that's what you need to focus on first. Um, here you can see there's several store codes. These store codes can usually clear but um, if you have a, if that issue is detected again in the next day or a week, then it'll come back on. Sometimes you have intermittent codes; they can switch between stored and current. So it depends if the issue is um, if the car is acting up at the moment that you scan it. You might see the code as current, but if it's not, then it might switch to stored. Um, permanent issues, permanent problems will have a current status, stored and current. Um, and those are what you need to address. And so as you can see there's more codes in here. So this report you can save it in the device which is recommended uh, before you hit erase codes. Uh, and then once you erase codes most of the codes are stored should clear. Uh, but codes that are current might temporarily clear but then they're more likely return as soon as uh, you turn on the ignition or as soon as you drive for a little bit that will return um, but you'll need to address those so you can fix the issue now here you have uh, different control modules you can enter any of the control modules and look at the codes more in depth <coughs> you can clear the uh, codes from individual control units whatever you are looking at as you can see here if we hit a race it's going to clear codes in this control unit. Uh, if where you complete the scanning uh, you can erase the codes from all the control unit at once at the bottom of the list there you have erase but here um, you can also look at um, yeah let's clear the codes really quick and then codes cleared uh, it even cleared the current codes but those codes will return you cycle the key or maybe drive uh, for a few minutes the current codes will return um, let's go uh, all the different control modules are grouped in uh, categories but you can uh, you can see here you have drive category um, where drivetrain gateway is located uh, this is a key component for this uh, um, electric vehicle But if you go back here, you can enter any of these categories, and then this one body has different control units that you can see here. You can enter any of them, read codes, and clear them, and look at live data for any of these control modules. And sometimes, if the vehicle there is might be a control unit that is optional, and if that vehicle doesn't have it, uh, for example, let's say your car doesn't have a blind spot monitoring system um, it's that control unit will be listed here but if you try to communicate with it you get no communication because that car does not have that control unit and if um, it is a car that does have a control unit you're sure it has it but there's no communication then there could be an indication there is a problem with one of that part particular control unit especially if you can connect to all the majority of the control units but not maybe not to one or two that means that you got a short or that control unit is down or defective 
but here you can also look at live data from the different control units live data is going to look different depending on what control unit you're looking at <coughs> But that's how you can read uh, codes from all the control units on a Mercedes-Benz electric vehicle and how you can um, look at some live data and interpret stored and current full codes and how you can uh, go into each control unit individually or run a quick scan to look at the overall health of the vehicle. Thanks for watching a mechanic where you can be the mechanic.